Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another nostalgic review with The Domain. Today, we're checking out the UNSC Gremlin in all of its glory. And this thing is, is kind of an anomaly at this point because it's become so rare. It was released in 2010 and never got a reiteration. Like a lot of the sets like Arctic Hogs and Wolverines, even the new Elephant. You know, they kept on updating it, but this Gremlin, I don't know why, but this is the only one. Pretty weird, right? Because it's such a beautiful vehicle. I'm gonna talk it through in as much detail as I can today. First of all, we'll talk about these two very basic figures, the Brute and the Marine. We've got them in so many sets. Actually, the Chopper came with just a Brute and a Marine, so it's a total re-release of these two figures. But hey-ho, you can't complain. And I've talked a lot in depth about these particular figures and how much detail went into old molds in my previous nostalgic review series, so I really do recommend you checking them out. The Brute comes with the Brute Shot, and yes, this Brute Shot has been reimagined, but now it doesn't have the little peg, which is a shame because the peg was nice for clipping it into the back of his torso. And the Assault Rifle has many iterations. The Assault Rifle Grey matches the backpack, and the Marine has a slightly different colored grey, but still really nice with the gold visor, and I love that mask. It is pure nostalgia, pure Halo Wars revival there. There are dark washes that blend into the corners and crevasses of this figure, making it excellent, and this Brute has so much detail if you think about it just on that head and the chest that copper belt with the blue lights essentially just oh such a really really highly detailed figure and particularly for the time and the marine and brute were brought in in 2010 in the second year of halo wars series look at this gremlin man it is a beast and it actually holds together very well if you brought this out today i would think it was pretty spot on like i wouldn't complain much the cockpit i think would be uh majorly changed if oh <laughs> oh, careful not to praise this too well, Simon. Apparently it does break apart. No, but if this came out nowadays, I would think it was gorgeous. Um, I think the seat would be reimagined. The cockpit is a bit bare, but this green man, and yes, Mega uses this cool injection mold process on their bricks, which means every single brick is different. Look at them, totally different bricks. This folds down. I love all of these old Halo Wars sets. They had like a stationary mode. A lot of these vehicles would deploy stands when they are just like, a stationary mounted turret or anything like that. And this thing has a lot of detailing. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have any of its sticker decals. There are a lot of really nice stickers on this set, so I would recommend you Googling that. But yes, this comes with no stickers today. I don't know why the guy didn't have stickers that I bought it from. You can see a few of the pieces will try to pop up. When these sets get quite old, the uh, plastic warps ever so slightly, so it will try and push and resist out from uh, from the way it's displayed, the way it's built. But uh, generally you can just push it back in without any complaints. We got a lot of transparent, translucent bricks here. This cannon in particular is really nice. It's interesting how this piece goes a little further forward. Every time I try and build this gremlin back up again, I always try and make them align and then I recorrect myself. A nice search light here. Yeah, you can see this is really trying to push itself out. You just have to push it back in. Uh, with a lot of these sets, I would recommend just slapping a little bit of super glue on there, putting a vice on it uh, or some kind of clamp and leaving it overnight and there'll be no problem ever again because yeah that is clearly trying to push itself up nice floodlights there uh, though they should be uh, the correct position there we go lovely and then some smoothed off sections mega has been trying after 2009 to smooth off more curves and angles and this set displays just that and this cockpit piece is a really nice unique piece i've actually seen this sold online separately because it's so rare it is uh it's it's really good and it clips on nicely just by a basic piece and it even looks like it has searchlights on there, just the way that the, the uh, yellow reflects light. Seven wheels make up this vehicle, which is no small order, and these little drums at the back. Just everything just feels bulky, man. Everything feels militaristic. It feels like it's ready to enter a battle in Halo Wars 1. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Did you manage to pick up this set when it first came out, or do you want it now you've seen this review? Because let me tell you, this gremlin is, it's a beast. It's not to be messed with. It is definitely a nice vehicle to add to your display. Thank you very much as always for tuning in and supporting this nostalgic series and a particular shout out to my patrons and you can donate to my patreon for three dollars or more per month to be a hashtag Billy Gang member. So yeah oh, oh no so thank you very much for tuning in today this was another video with the domain. You stay awesome you stay safe out there folks and the gremlin <laughs> that poor brute is signing off.